How's it going everybody? Unreal Hero here with another keyboard video for you guys. This video is in response to a comment I got on another video and this comments from Mighty Power and Mighty Power said how do you add ripple on top of static? Is it possible? And to answer your question, yes it is possible and I'm going to show you right now but before I do feel free to smash the subscribe button and we're going to start the video. Alright guys, so here we are. We're at our Synapse uh, kind of home page. Actually, what I'll do for you is I'll go to the, out to the home page. Um, save that. So right here is your Synapse dashboard. Actually, I'll do one better. I'll even go all the way out and uh, close it down. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open your Razor Synapse. This is going to be your dashboard right here. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here, click on Chroma, get your Chroma configurator pulled up, and it's already set right now to a static green color right now. You can see over here on the right, it's green, you got static right here on the left, so we already have our static set. So to add the ripple effect on top of the static, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to the lower left hand corner you're gonna add an effect and he wants to he wants to do a ripple effect on top of static so we're gonna go ahead and click that ripple it's gonna add it to the list over here you're gonna click on ripple and you're gonna highlight all of your keys okay so you have all your keys highlighted or you can select whatever keys you want to have that ripple effect okay so right now I want all the keys um, and then I'm going to choose my color on the right. You can go with a multi-color, like five tones, three tones, two tones, or just a single color. In this video, I think I'm just going to do a two-tone color. You guys can choose whatever it is you want. Uh, I'm going to go over here, grab my uh, light blue. You guys can choose a custom color if you want. I'm just going to go with the standard light blue here. I'm going to go to this end of the spectrum, and I'm going to go with a dark blue. So. We have all different shades of blue in the ripple effect. Um, I can set my speed here, how fast I want that ripple to go. Uh, right now I'm just going to put it right in the middle, about 25. Uh, you can set the width. I'm just going to keep everything on there. And right here you want it to go on press. Because if you don't go on press, it just randomly will do ripple effects all over your keyboard. You could do that as well. but. What I'm going to do is do it on the press. I'm going to go down here, hit save. So on the left side here, you can see we have static and ripple. And now when I press a key, you can see from my live keyboard here that I have that static and ripple effect. And it's as easy as that. And you can even do more layers than that. You, you don't have to limit it to just two. Like you can go down here and do a reactive, add reactive, highlight all your keys. And in your reactive, I'm gonna go with yellow, save. So now I have my green static effect. I also have my blue ripple. And along with that, I have a yellow reactive key. So. The, the key I press is going to stay yellow and it'll fade back to static green but it'll also have that ripple effect so you can see here my shift key oop I forgot about that anyways I'll go with the enter key so your enter key is yellow but you still have that static effect you still have the blue ripple and that goes with any key you got here Huge disclaimer right now guys, I just downloaded the Synapse 3 software on my PC. I had some troubles with it initially. Um, I think I might have had the same issue that Mighty Power had when he was doing his. What I had to do is, so I was able to get into this software, but when I was adding effects, it wasn't compounding the effects. So. What I had to do is I had to go into Synapse. 
I had to go to my modules and I had to actually hit this X and close out the chroma or like erase it so you hit that and you can remove chroma from your I'll do it right now so remove chroma it will remove it off of your synapse software and I had to go in and re-add it just like that install and restart so it would install it restart it and then I was actually able to get my effects to work that way mighty power I hope this answers all of your questions um, and for all of the other viewers I hope you guys were able to learn something from this uh, if you haven't done so yet hit that like button there's a subscribe button right next to it you can hit that as well I release videos based on comments issues that I have uh, when I'm trying to design uh, patterns and stuff like that so stick around I'm gonna be releasing a lot more videos in the near future so uh, thanks for watching this video